Hi, my name is Janet Shannon, and I live in Paulden, Arizona. Well, I got my first pony when I was eight. My dad brought him home in the back seat of the station wagon with his head hanging out the back of the window. <laughs> I just can't think of any, any animal besides dogs that I love as much. I think they just feel like they're just part of my being. You know, I think I just came onto this planet already loving them. My husband and I moved to El Paso for his work and the ranch that we kept our two horses at, our three horses at, um, there was a horse that was really starving. So I confronted their owner and the owner's response was, I can't take care of this horse, you can have him. So that's what we did. We took him and fed him and now he's ours. His name is Rafe. His, his, he's a race horse, he's a registered quarter horse. He was in a really small corral with another mare and I think she had been beating up on him a little bit because he had some bite marks and skin missing. He was probably 200 pounds skinnier or less heavy than when I knew him. He broke his, he fractured his knee in two places and he's got a big fluid sac probably the size of a, a an egg. There is no surgery that can fix his particular type of fractures. So the, the prognosis for him is not good. He'll just be lucky if we can keep him out of pain enough to have some quality of life. His owner was going to take him to auction, and a horse with a you know a lump on his knee that he had would definitely go to the killer buyer. And those horses are transported in an inhumane way across the border to Mexico. And I didn't want to see him go through that just because I knew him, and he was kind of my he was my friend. It's cute, isn't he? That face. Hey, we're committed to seeing if we can't make him better. I mean, we will do alternative therapies. We will do whatever we can and what's within our means to do to, to help him to improve. It's our passion. My husband is a big horse lover too. And it's our passion.